ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਲੈਟਸ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਆਫ ਵਿਦ ਹਾਊ ਯੂ ਗਾਟ ਟੂ ਨੋ ਬਾਬਾ ਪਗ ਜੀ ਪਗ ਜੀ ਓ ਵਨ ਆਈ ਟੱਕ ਅਮਰਤ ਆਫਟਰ ਆਈ ਟੱਕ ਅਮਰਤ ਓ ਯੀਅਰ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਮੈਂ ਇਟਸ ਬੀਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲੀ ਲਾਈਕ 17 ਇਸ਼ 16 17 ਸਮ ਲਾਈਕ ਥੈਟ um a while back a uh, goldie there used to be a saying older saying named goldie he introduced me to baba ji so baba ji used to be at rexdale and that's where i went and i met him there like he used to stay at i think the palavendar course house and baba ji took me there once and and that's where i met him so you and baba ji after you took amrit yeah 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 so i took amrit before me and couple couple people from other people from rexdale we took amrit before younger days i mean at that time i was i wasn't in school i left i left high school in grade 10 i got suspended a few <laughs> handful of times then i ended up getting expelled and um so we left i left high school in grade 10 and after that so i took amrit and then yeah after that i went and, and i met pagaji after that why did you take that step to be blessed with them like what made you take that step Mm. It's a good question. I think I was looking for something deeper. You know what I mean? I think I was looking for some depth. I was looking for I knew there was something bigger out there. I remember I still remember I was I was high on weed one day and we're driving in the car. I was sitting in the back back seat of the car just like you guys like got me sitting in a car right now and doing an interview. So I was, I remember I was sitting I was sitting in a car and i looked out the window and i was high at that time but i remember that time i was like yo you know what i'm coming and i said that to maharaj i'm like yo i'm coming i don't know why i said that i don't know what that was about but i remember saying that so there was never a doubt in you that there is a god like there is no side and stuff like that no i th- i i i always we always believe me one of my, one of my friends even younger um lamba we used to go to even rexdel gordwara when we were younger Uh, we used to walk to there was a Rexdale flea market we used to walk to the flea market and stuff uh, we uh, <laughs> we actually used to go like buy mangoes and things at times we really enjoyed mangoes um, but then no we once in a while we used to go to Rexdale and then um, there were these guys that came down they did and at this time I was out of school I had a car like I had a car before I was 16 and it was like parked in the driveway ready waiting for me same okay, with my brother like you said you were driving no 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 <laughs> so that that was already there so then i had a car at this time and these guys that did tarna kitan they needed so i started going and i started listening to them do tarna kitan i was like whoa this is cool cuz tarna kitan they're telling stories you know what i mean it's not straight out kitan i can i don't understand kitan right and these guys are telling stories and i started listening to stories and i think i was kind of you know in pain from my other life as well and i'm like whoa this is pretty cool and then i i had a vehicle so i started taking these guys around wherever they wanted to go and so i started hanging out with them so because i wasn't in school i was expelled i had nowhere to go my sangha changed mm-hmm. um so at, uh, at the age of 16 you were driving around uh, the jatha i don't know was it 16 or 17 something like that mm-hmm. um yeah so I was driving around and before these guys took off in India I had my plan so one of my friends who took Amrit like with me like a couple of days before or after or something like that he took off to India with him my plan was to go to India as well and then people started scaring me like yo these are babbe and these this that yo you, you know what i mean like how can a kid like you just turn around you, it's not possible like yo you're possessed like these people scared me like yo you're possessed you're this you're that and And I think a, the reason why a lot of people said this was cuz w- one of those guys he used to take like you know I think back now and it's very different but he used to take like poot out of people and stuff like that and he used to read these mantras he showed me these mantras like young yeah, and teach you all this stuff I'm like oh okay that's cool I didn't know what it was <laughs> but what he also did was he instilled in me waking up amrit vela and doing mool mantra vyas right so no matter what time we went to sleep like i you know we started waking up amrit vela right like 2 2 i think it was 2:30 at that time we just had to wake up you sleep at 11 you wake up at 2:30 and you do your practice you know you always do your practice and i remember 
I still remember it, Rex Del Gordo, there's a house back there at the back and uh, we were there one day and there was this guy and his eyes started rolling back and he started falling back. And so the Sangat's there and they went and they call this Baba. This Baba comes out and he starts slapping him. It's like, yo, who are you? Get out of here, this and that. And like I, he, before he, he was like falling back and then I held him and put him down. So, and I, I witnessed all this. I'm like, yo, there's something to this, right? I'm, if I look back now, I realize he was having a seizure. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I, re I, didn't, but I didn't know this at that point. I thought, yo, maybe there is something to this. So after that, I didn't end up going to India. But a lot of people scared me. So um, when I got scared, I was like, I, I guess maybe I just psyched myself out. And I started having dreams of different things and things like that as well. But the, so that's when Maharaj, you know, he made me do, you know, it was the first time like, Maharaj made me do like Sawa Lakamul Mantra at that time. So just like introducing to Amrad, no Sangat. All my Sangat went back to India. My, my, one of my really good friends, he took off to India. So I'm like, yo, who do I chill with now, man? <laughs> right? So I started doing Mool Mantra. And then through that Mool Mantra, I started, like, it's the first time I felt energy like around you know felt it in my forehead and different I'm like yo what is this you know this is weird right and then gold and then so I started going to Rex del Gardwara and Mara Kirpa we used to do like I just used to go like every day so I was in this institution at this point I, I should tell you guys too so I've had yeah so I had multiple charges on me gone to a lot of violent episodes um, yeah Went through the <laughs> went through the system a bit, and um, but then so I started going to Rex del Gardwara, and so we started doing just a seva of uh, you know just mopping the floors, mm -hmm. just mop the floors every day, and mop the washrooms, and I didn't know man I used to, even then I I didn't wash my I didn't know like yo you know what maybe before you go sit on top maybe you should clean your feet you should clean yourself and then go sit but I used to do that seva just go sit on top yeah and then do just start doing job set because. Mm -hmm. Once again, there's no Sangha, there's no one to help me out or anything. Because like the Sangha that I knew, they took off to India. And uh, so I just started doing that, I started doing that. And then Goldie came and he saw me at Rex del Gardar. He's, old, he's older than me. He's probably like 45 now maybe or something like that. He's like, I gotta take you somewhere. I'm like, where? He's like, I'm gonna take you to Pagaji. Mm -hmm. But it's saying here, called Pagaji. I'm like, yo, end that, man. <laughs> I ain't going, man. He's, I don't trust these Babe, man. They've messed around with me, man. I don't know what's happening. Um, you know, I'm good. I'm not going. He's like, trust me, just come. So I went. So the first time I saw Pagaji, he's like sleeping. He's lying there. He's like all oh, this Barney playing around him and all that kind of stuff. I went up to his room. And uh, so he gave me an audio. So we used to have, well, now we got MP3s and things. So you know like a cassette thing back then? Yeah. So I used to have a cassette thing, a, wa a Walkman. Yeah. So I used to have a Walkman. So I put it in my ear, so he's like, listen to this tape. And that was Mahadni. And he's like, listen to this tape and you'll pick up how to read. I'm like, okay, that's cool. So in my own time, like for pretty much two weeks straight, I, like, I just kept my headphones on. And I just listened and I listened and I listened. And I started realizing, okay, yo, this is this is a Uraj era. And then you're just reading along a little bit. Okay, this is how you read. This is this. This oh, this is Jabji Seb. And this is like before I used to read in English because it was very difficult for me I, to even understand or pronounce in Gurmukhi. And then, so I started going and started seeing Baba Ji once in a while. And uh, at the, he he was writing that time. So Goldie, him, and Jawar Singh, these guys are translating. Uh, Sukhmani Sab. So I started going and then Goldie, he used to drive a taxi and he told me, he's like, Nikke, we come here and just type and stuff once in a while. So I started and I started typing on the keyboards and stuff and like, okay, this is this. And Pagji used to sit beside me and tell me, yo, type this, take that out. Okay, to put this in and stuff like that. And that's it, man. And then he was, so I started hanging out with him like here locally and I just started staying with him going home once in a while, staying with them, back and forth, back and forth. Then came and he's like, yo, he's going to Montreal. So I'm like, yo, Maggie got my tail, like, let's go, right? I'm not in school, I'm not doing anything, let's, 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 let's dip. And uh, so then I took off to Montreal with him. And that was, my God, man, that was, that was an experience. 
Um, Did you ever feel like you had pressure from your family to not go? Or I had pressure from my family when I was with those other Babe, when I chilled with those guys. But when they met Pagaji, I think they realized, yo, this this is not like this is not like a Baba type of guy. Like you know, like the way we treated like Pagaji back in the in the like now I, I realize. I mean, there's like a huge Pagaji is seen in this beautiful light, rightfully so. I mean, the way we treat him like an older like like a baba like a like a grandfather too yeah. i was like you know, not, you know like goldie used to wrestle with them man you yeah, know what i mean and Pagaji's like Aja, goldie, like, Aja, like you know and they used, to, they used to go at it it should be fun we used to have fun yeah. we never treated like we used to sleep man baba you sleeping there goldie sleeping there jar singh sleeping i'm sleeping on this side like everyone just sleeping i got their own rejecting everyone chilling in the same room <laughs> like it was it's a very it was a very different vibe from uh, what i see now mm. and um so I mean, it was it was a beautiful time. Sorry, what were you, what did you ask me? Did you ever feel like you had pressure from your parents to not? No, no, no. And then, so when I went to Montreal, they were okay with that. And so, I one 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 person I have to say that that also influenced me was was my nana. My nana was Anapada. Uh, he passed away a couple of years ago now. He was Anapada, but man, was he a biasi. But I didn't know what that meant until I met Pagaji and these guys, right? So he used to always do Moon Mantra, always do Moon Mantra. And, and he lived it, man. He like legit lived that life. In anything and everything he did, he lived it. Um, so, so that was inspiring. Now I look back and I realize you know, what he, what he what, kind of what he was, what he, what he did. I remember he came down one day and he had, He's he was a he's a ball, he's a ballsy type of guy, you know, no fear type of guy, you know, like he's that type of individual. But he came down one day, he had tears in his eyes, and uh, and he goes to me, he goes, you know, Mara loved his horses, you know, and he started, he was crying, and he's like, Mara really loved his horses, and he talked to me about you know having darshan of Maharaj and things like that from time to time, and. Uh, but now, in looking back, I realize I've, back then I didn't know. I'm like, oh, that's cool, man. Like, all right. <laughs> now, <laughs> afterwards, I realize after Pagaji and these guys, like, yo, like these are these are deep things that do exist, right? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that yeah. So went to Montreal, and that 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 was a beautiful beautiful experience there. Can you explain some like some stuff that happened there? Uh, but where in Montreal? Yeah. My God, <laughs> so much happened in Montreal, man. We know the story of when Bob Buddy was on the trampoline there. Yeah. For like eight hours or something. Bob Buddy just, because Gurjant uncle's house, they used to stay there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they were at Gurjant Singh's house for a bit too. And they just jumped on a trampoline for like eight hours. Yo, Pakaji used to, he's a killer, man. This guy used to play badminton. <laughs> so we had like mad druggies come through us, mad like Kathawachik. So we, we lived at the house in the back at Lishin Gordora. So we lived there, and a lot of a lot of ragis like my ragi iftar saying these guys. I think his his son, uh, who who at that time was like staying with him, learning kirtan and all that. Mm -hmm. His older brother. Uh, so we had the opportunity to see good and bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we went through a lot of Bobby getting through there. Like yo, was, some crop people came through there too. We got to witness that too. But some beautiful souls came through there too, mm -hmm. right? So we got to witness that too. Um, and got to live amongst these guys for a bit. But Bagaji, man, he's, he used to play badminton, these guys, no one could handle him badminton, man. This guy's like, <laughs> killer. He, was, he was a killer in badminton. So he, he was pretty good at badminton. What, what was it like a day like when you were in Montreal with Like, what would you do? Like? Oh, we only did one thing, man. We translated. That's all we did. Like, I didn't have a cell phone. I think I had like one pajama. I had like one or two t-shirts for those two like two years and as that was it man like I had like two pagai thing and we lived like we didn't have no pillows we didn't like you know what I mean like there was a time when the heat went out for God knows how long we slept in 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 winter clothes because Pagaji didn't want to spend any money because it's Sangat's money spending on Sangat why are we spending it ourselves and that's some beautiful lessons I learned like that too we would go and pick up beer cans and things like that in Montreal different cans and things like that mm -hmm. and you know you could put, you could give them to recycling centers. recycling centers they'll give you money and we'll throw that in Seva mm -hmm. not like like you know we never he 
he would never spend money on himself like his two serving he's not he's not going to spend money on that he's like it's not my money sangha's money put it towards sangha right so i mean beautiful lessons we learn like that a day a day there would be like you wake up random hours man random hours throughout the day throughout the night he'd wake you up sometimes like 2 in the morning you go outside and be like looking at like patte chal de and this and that and be like yo maharaj hawa vaga rahe hai maharaj is doing this seedha patta maharaj uno chalaunda like maharaj is making a move everything's moving in hukum just random things like that and then you'd be like so we would translate okay like i don't know like sar banana ave pe khanara like you know or was, i think is that the 21st us for the 21st some like so just random things like that we we'll be translating and so we'll be like okay let's look up mahan ko shows mahan ko chapter say about this okay let's look up farid kotia tika farid kotia is a it's a translation done by you know back, back in the days these guys did a translation there are multiple translations that have been done in our history um so farid kotia is one uh, sahib saying you know look at what sahib saying mare said uh, but the mahapurush katha we play all the time or mahapur saying about this line um akali kor saying ta takra kaddo we oh like you know now we have like everything on on our phones or on our on our computers and things like that and we could just look everything up like instantaneously it wasn't like that man we had to like go through pai gardas ji's varan pai gardas ji ki kende ak bette so that's why i started learning everything like yo what is all this oh, khajana here man like mm-hmm. pai gardas ji's writing this pai these kabets these vara uh guru gobind singh ji look what he wrote here in, in siri dasam and this is being written here and just so many different grants pagad ji had lined up there and we will go through them and just translate and as you're translating as you're translating sometimes you just you just get into like like ah moments you know what i mean just like like what is this what's going like sarban hai na pe bekhan hara he started thinking you know maharaj nirguna brahm ji prakash ji is looking through everyone's eyes you know what i mean and then you start realizing yo baba deep singh ji jan nanak likha samjha like he he has no like to to meno dooja na hi koi you know these guys only see the one so like through his eyes like he he he's seeing the one through everything and you start then you start so imagine you're around this like through to I don't know, a couple of years you, this is all you, this is all I'm doing for a couple of years and we're just translating translating and you start thinking like that and then you start feeling certain things too um so I mean yeah you go through you go through these things so throughout the day that's all we did we translated man we translated um I th- what else we worked out um we had a chakki Like you know, now we got electrical checking, right? <laughs> yeah. So we yeah, we used to we used to have a checky. We used to use our you know go with our with our hands around. Uh, yeah, they're really mad strong. Uh, Jawar Singh, Jawar Singh was a killer man. That guy's super <laughs> strong. And uh, so so we did that. That's how we lived. There's a beautiful like uh, lake right there, mm-hmm. like lake or river, whatever. So we, we used to walk around there and things like that. And uh, Yeah, that was a, that was a day kind of generally kind of what we did there. What were the interactions like when you guys would go out and meet different people, whether it be like Sikh people, Gore people, any other people? We didn't go anywhere. We didn't like when you guys went on walks, did you guys ever see people? So, uh we we I had a couple of friends like, you know, Gore Montreal local Gore friends that used to walk by once in a while. They they knew we lived there. Uh yeah, so if we walk went on walks and things like that, interactions were just beautiful i mean they're they're all good i mean 9/11 happened 9/11 happened i was there too that was kind of weird so walking and people happened? like people like they started see, like i was gone on a walk when that happened and people were just like screaming at me and stuff and i'm walking back to the god door i'm like yo what's going on and then i got <laughs> back and i realized then the things like yo don't go out right now and stuff like that this was happened so i mean that was cool but generally i mean interactions were pretty cool they were great Yeah. Was some magical genes or stuff like that? Like do you like it was some of the experience like one of the experience that we've had is like Baba is just like sleeping. Mm. And then we're reading blind to them and they'd wake up and tell us like all our mistakes. 
Okay, so they weren't really like sleeping, they were just resting. Like that's like how Baba just shows. Well, I think well he's you know when when he did the seva of um recording Bade Mampur's katha, you know, he asked Bade Mampur asked him what do you want? And he goes, May I always see you, right? And so I think because of that, I think he still, you know, they they still have an interaction, right? Like he would be like, you know, we'd be sleeping there. He'd wake up, be like, "Yo, Mahapurush, but Mahapurush, I see. This is what they're saying. This is what's happening, <laughs> or you know what I mean. Oh, met these things uh, last, like you know, this is what's happening. This is what's going on, things like that. Mara Kirpa, like you know, we started like getting some, like you know, we started see seeing certain things too, because we're around such great energies at that time, right? Um, you know, Santa Katar Singh Ji. I remember I mean, dreaming these guys. You know, grab my hand one time, pull me in, and some guys like Aja Beja I and then these guys are doing their things. Like all, the, like a lot of the things are around there. Um, a lot, I mean, so there's a lot of things. Right? You know, seeing the shortest of yeah, they talking about Baba Alam Singh Ji and these guys, and small, multiple things. Man, right? it's like daily, like all the time. Like I don't know what, should, what can I say, man. It's, it's beautiful, like. It's like you know you get shanakate throughout your body happening your body's getting like energy is flowing through your body like every so often and you're like oh whoa whoa oh like you know, it's getting it's like you're getting high and high and high and like oh okay <laughs> like it's like non-stop certain, certain times right but once again i mean i mean i, I also remember man there there used to have, there used to be a beautiful picture by mati dasji in the hallway and you know, we would translate and come out of the room sometimes, and I'd just stay there, I'd just like stand there and stare at that picture. And I don't know how much time went by, and I don't even know if I was thinking anything, and I'd just be lost in like just that picture of, oh, and the thing about Pai Mati Das she's gone through this, and, and just lost, and just z zone out, and go thoughtless, just like that and that. So, I mean, there was a lot of opportunity you know that kind of opportunity to to dive deeper into oneself and and realize that this path is is not external it's all internal right and um and the only thing that takes you there is you know is is shabd right is that ton and just di diving into that and the translations were beautiful for me man because that that kept me engaged right so i really enjoyed that piece most of my siblings have like one pankti that they remember Babaji like instills into them. Mm. Right? What was that one pankti that you remember that you're like this is like one lesson that I got from Babaji and this continuous job? Probably not bhakti. one, probably millions. <laughs> 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 he, he yeah he did make us write quite a bit, but bina santo nahi ko raja. If I if I think of Babaji, that's a one line he really instilled. Bina uh, santo nahi ko raja. Um, that was beautiful, man. What does that mean? Well, to me, or a little definition, to me that means without the Creator you'll never be fulfilled. Without falling in love with the One you'll never be fulfilled. But literally what it means without contentment you'll never be fulfilled. You could take that in a multitude of ways as I guess you continue meditating and doing job on it, right? Yeah, that's what that means. Did Bob, how did when Bobby first brought up those pankti and with you, like, 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 like food, clothes, and like, how you were saying you only just sat two pants and shirts, even those are things that I, even though we don't know you that close, people would say that. They'd be like, VG was a person who like lived like as if they were this most grieved person in the world. Mm. Have such less clothes. <laughs> well, right? then he's like, uh, one time he's like, grieved the clothes. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Those funky and like, do they connect with you in that sense too? What do you mean? Because like, you didn't have any itcha to be like, oh, I want to go buy more clothes or I need to buy eat more food. Because Babaji was also always teaching you that bhakti. Even when we were kids, that was one bhakti Babaji used to stay with us all the time too. Mm. Right? No, I mean, at that time, no, I I didn't think about clothes, man. At that time, I was just, I was just lost in like, you know, look at look what Sikhi is. You know what I mean? Like, look how deep this stuff is. Like, it's beyond, it's beyond the physical, man. Like, 
Like if I look, I I I got I got a daddy. You know what I mean? I have a car. I have a case. I have, I have a kanga. You know, I have a shara. I have all this stuff. Only reason I do that, like yeah, I'm sure there are multiple reasons. People, only reason I do that because my my guru ordered me to do it. You know what I mean? I have no other reason to do that. You know, like guru um, guru Gomez Singh comes here right now. He's like, yo, he's gonna say jump. You're not even gonna ask him how high. He's just gonna jump. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it has. I was just lost in like the spirituality piece, and I think, I mean. I think this is where stuff gets dangerous too, right? Like people that get caught up in in religion, and and if I if I see the way I came into Sikhi, if people get caught up in religion and they forget the spirituality piece of it, that's very unfortunate, man. Mm-hmm. Because religion is a tool to take you towards spirituality, and that's how we got to utilize it, and that's how we got to understand it, right? Um, but you roll each other, so that's a different topic. No, I was just gonna tell you to expand on it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, like, Bob, like when you were saying that I was stuck in a different life, like I was tired of my life. Mm. Before starting with you, uh, starting you said that. What, what was that? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get at it. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, we grew up in Rexdale. You know, we had fun. You know. Uh, we used to hang out all the guys from Rexdale we had fun man you know we got high we drank we we partied we did everything we got to multiple fights um you know used weapons had you weapons used against us it's, you know it's just a regular Rexdale upbringing i guess it's like it's calm now before it was really bad you know, yeah when i was in high school yeah it was really bad yeah beer fights yeah yeah so w- what about people that are going through the same thing right now that you had experienced like i know a lot of my friends had a lot of struggle with drugs alcohol i see them at the nagar kirtan and then the next year i see them like smoking and drinking but it's like it was like they didn't know i guess like it was just like that was no that was the life that was known to them mm. what would you say like nothing man nothing to say to anyone man live your, like do what you got to do i have nothing to say to anyone like well okay what would you tell your younger self at that moment okay. nothing man I, i'm glad i went through it mm. i'm glad i did all that because if i didn't do that i wouldn't be where i am now and i wouldn't have known like maybe i wouldn't wanted to experiment like yo how are shrooms well now you know how shrooms are you know what i mean <laughs> like like i don't i don't have these questions in my mind anymore right um what would i say to anyone well it depends what they want man if that's what they want then go ahead enjoy your life man do what you got to do but if it's something else you want then 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 try to try to follow that and for me that was done through translations like even this we're we're about to run a chopi sahib session right now and i i i haven't said this but there is there is some reasoning behind all this besides i mean understanding translations is one one piece that people are going to get out of this like they'll understand what bani is and this and that but this is actually a exercise where they will externalize their emotions and their feelings and their thoughts and they get to write it out and you know in therapy what we call externalization right um so you externalize what's inside you and once you do that you connect it to a higher power now which is bani if it's something you believe in connect it to that and then a lot of progress gets made out of there right i think it's it's a way of self healing mm-hmm. and bani gurbani is that for us it there's a method to self heal through gurbani and so what i'm trying to do is just covid hit people really hard i think i mean i've had many multiple phone calls of people that wanting you know support and things like that because of i mean i've done therapy as well i mean you know i've been in that that field as well so i think just for the sick population just putting this out there as a form of like learning how to self heal that this is how you use gurbani to take care 
of your emotions and your feelings and your social location and things of that nature. So I think I think this will help people in that. And and, and on a side note, people will understand the meaning of Jope Seb as well. Define self heal. Self heal. Well, I don't know how deep you want to take this, man. <laughs> self heal is self actualization in the sense that mantu jyot sarup hai apna mool pachhan. They ain't nothing but the one. Ye tu tu karta tu hu amaj mein rahna hu. Jab apa par ka mat gaya jata dekha hota tu, right? That's self heal, man. Self heal is diving deep into oneself and through shabad and staying consistent. It's when shabad Vahe Guru, Guru Bani, any line, any Bani, and your concentration collide. And as you start colliding those and start staying in that presence, you know, beautiful line. Tera kavano Guru, just ka tu chela. You know, the Sid's ask Guru says, you, you ask me what, what Bani line, these are some of my favorite lines. <laughs> Here it is. Tera kavano Guru, just ka tu chela. And Maharaj answered, he goes, Sabado Guru, sorte to ne chela. He goes, forget this body, man. He goes, the Shabbat is the Guru and my concentration is a chela. My concentration is a follower. So once you start con colliding your concentration, it's focused attention. That's what it is, man. You focus your attention on anything, you'll be good at it. You know what I mean? And so, but once again, I mean, this, it's not like, you, the difference between this path and the path of the world is the, the path of the world is something you got to strive towards, you got to work at, you got to work at. You might have to utilize your ego in certain places in there. You have to use, utilize a lot of your intellect. When it comes to Sikhi, you have to cut all that. I mean, I can't swear in this podcast, I guess. But you, you got to cut all that stuff aside and you got to focus on, you got to be humble. You got to you got to know that you don't know anything like truly got to understand like like if i look at my life and i look at myself and i see myself when i came when i came back from pagaji one thing i did was you know i started talking quite a bit in sangat and i started you know doing pachar and we started doing all we started doing a lot of stuff i even have recordings we haven't released yet from back then we have recordings of katha of certain Baniya we did that yeah. we just haven't recorded and I ripped some of them, I deleted some of them. I think Goldie probably has some stuff lying around. And at that time, a thing that I, you know, when you start thinking you're something, it affects your ego, it takes a hit. Mm -hmm. I, I think I went through that too. Um, I think that's one of the reasons I didn't want to talk as well. It's like, oh dog, you have nothing to say. You know what I mean? It's like, the way I see myself now is like, you know when the, a baby is born, a baby is born and it could be doing this and this and this, but it doesn't know. It doesn't really know anything. Like, so I see myself as a little baby, just, you know, I'm blabbing away, but it was only through, <laughs> only Maharaj knows which way to flow. You know what I mean? And um, so, so yeah. What made you take the step to then because you haven't done any gatha or anything for like a few years now. Yeah. And even Amitkar's been saying, she's been asking you, like, <laughs> please, please do it. Even the Grisaya looks great. Right? What well, finally made you make that step? Like, okay, I'm going to come out. I'm going to do this job based on self class. And I've always wanted to. I think I think one thing that even, st like, you know, we thought about, I thought about doing gatha, like as, uh, as, as a full-time or even teaching full time and things like that. But once again, the thing that stopped me, and, and I know it's very different now, but this is what we're talking about 20 years ago. The thing that stopped me back then was I never, and I think the thing that stopped like a lot of Toronto things was I'd, I never wanted to take Sangat's money. I found that very difficult. I couldn't live off that. I needed to make my own money. And then I can, you know, whatever, whatever we can do, we can do. And I think um, the reason I'm doing it. The reason I mean, I'm still not doing it. I mean, it's just running a Chopi side class. And but the reason I'm even doing this is I think it's inside me, man. Mm -hmm. Like this is this is what's inside me. This is who I am. I can't I can't keep holding it. I need to I need to I need to teach. I need to I want people to understand the. the oh, 
if they want to understand, then let's talk. And, and if you don't, that's totally cool, man. Live your life, do what you got to do. But I think this is just deeply, you know, you know, I feel like this is just, this is who I am, man. It's inside me. I just, and it's not inside me to be a Pracharak. It's not inside me to teach anyone or tell anyone or that I know better than anyone. What's really inside me is to zone out. <laughs> if you ask me what I enjoy, what are my hobbies, what I enjoy, I enjoy playing with my mind. I enjoy, okay, let me dive into this thought. Can I cut the thought right away? Can I stop the thought? Okay, yeah, bless, that's beautiful, right? You know what I mean? Like, I, I enjoy playing with the mind in the sense that how, con how deep can we take this concentration right now? Mm. You know, how focused can we take this concentration right now? These are, these are some of the things I enjoy. These are some of the things that, um, you know, I, I, I enjoy sharing. Um, this is, you know, this is what I've learned. And I enjoy learning from, like, a lot of the, the, the Toronto sayings, man. What can I say about these guys? You got some beautiful sayings sitting in Toronto, man. My age, older than me, younger than me. These guys don't talk. Do you ever notice that? Toronto guys don't talk? Yeah, they don't. They don't talk. <laughs> like, they got... And, and you talk to them one-on-one -on -one and you get different answers, you know what I mean? Like, yo, huh, you know, this is happening inside me, this is flowing, you know, I heard that, you know, this is happening, this is like, oh, Mara, this, this. You know, they, they might share your experience. But when they come out there, by the they don't want to talk, right? Um, and I don't know why that is. We've never, Toronto has never spoken like that. You know what I mean? Like, all our guys are being quiet. And um, I could tell you pure names of these guys, but maybe I think they'll probably hate on me for even mentioning their names, <laughs> right? Just tell us on the side after. We'll hunt <laughs> them down. We'll go interview them. I think one thing that you said that I, I think a lot of especially kids who are really focusing on their psyche, you said controlling your mind. Can I bring this thought in my head and then stop it, mm. right? Because a lot of us who are on the path of Sikhi, we know some things like, okay, eat about a nay sort right? This one this is the thing you should think about. How did you train your mind to be like, okay, can I stop this thought? Can I not? Can I do it? Or not? I didn't, I think it got trained just throughout, throughout the years. Um, staying, staying with the Pagaji, coming back, you know, staying in Sangha, going through various challenges, falling and rising and falling and rising, you know. The way I think, just having that experience, having having stayed with Apagaji and realize what it, what I think it's about right now, mm -hmm. and um, having the ability to go back to something like that, like oh, it's a thona man, man. That's all it is, man. Put your concentration in the thona, mm -hmm. right? Put your concentration in the thona. From there you realize, from there that stuff starts flowing for you. And that's how it's focused attention. And I mean, I just, I just enjoy that. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy playing with the mind. I enjoy seeing, like, I enjoy zoning out. I enjoy focusing. Like my favorite thing to do my favorite thing in the world to do is to play just Gurbani straight, like someone doing like part and lie down and just zone out. In the, and then, and then there are different, like, you know, like you, Malton, I enjoy, I enjoy sitting at, you know, at the Gurdwara and listening to part in the mornings as well. Um, there are different places you could take your concentration, I guess. Like, there's one where you can, you're listening to the Bani and you're flowing in translations. There's another place where you're sitting and you're listening to Bani and you're zoned in. It's like you're listening to Bani and then there's nothing. It's like you're there, but you're not there. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know, might know what I'm talking about. And I don't know, man. It's just a beautiful path, right? It's just a, the, the path of concentration is a beautiful path. And Bonnie and concentration, that's, that's all it is, man. Right? 
like a lot of us like Babari has taught a lot of practical tools mm. to mm. begin that because you know, a lot of a lot of people might not know where to start or where to go but there's a lot of practical tools and the way Babari teaches is just like totally different than I've ever seen anywhere yeah what are some things that you took out of that or you took from it that you still hold till this day working out you know, Pagaji talks before anything. He says he, he talks about working out. He talks about fresh air. You know what I mean. So I think these things. I mean, I still play soccer to date, even now almost at forty years old. You know, what I mean? <laughs> any chance like, yeah, I'm there. If anyone's playing soccer, I'm there. You know what I mean? Like, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I'm down. Man. Let's go. <laughs> right? I enjoy. I enjoy playing soccer. I I enjoy. I enjoy working out, man. I enjoy, um, and Bhagji talks about eating right. You know what I mean? Um, like practicality. You know, he talks about talks about a lot of things. Like talk, talks about santok, talks about you know, but I had opening the kana. It's pretty much anything that put, takes your senses out outwards. You know, I, before I left Montreal, he told me, he told me once, he goes, yo, you're going to go out there. He goes, you're going to hear a lot of things. He goes, but don't listen to him. You're going to hear a lot of things that are going to come into your ears. He goes, don't listen to him. And I try to abide by that. Like, you know, he says, dunia telkan baji hai, pair, soch, samja ke tariyakar. He says that quite a bit too, right? He goes, watch where you step, man. Um, so, yeah, I... I abide by some of that kind of stuff. You got to stay with Babaji for five years? No, no, no. I, I think I stayed with Babaji for a while. What? Well, Montreal, I was there for, what, two years? Two years? Yeah, and then on and off. So those times that you stayed with Babaji, and then you went into the real world, right? And mm. then you had to be surrounded by different things, whether, whether it be your job, your family, friends, right? When it comes to not being affected by that, do you think that all the bias or all the seva you did when you were bubbly, that's what protected you? Or things that you kept doing in your everyday life that was protecting you and keeping your mind vigilant? I mean, seva, man. What is, what is seva? I can't say I did seva, man. How, how can I say I did see it? It doesn't even belong to me, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just living in this thing. They call it and leave for a bit. But in terms, in the sense that how did, when I came back, you ask me how was that? Yeah. Like what were your greatest downfalls? Like, oh. Well, yeah, I, so, so the way, I mean, I judge things on an energy base right now like after I left I don't know I, so I get negative vibes and I get positive vibes you know what I mean so depending on what type of sangat I'm in I'll it'll let I can I can uh, like you know uh, I'll feel like yo maybe I shouldn't be in this presence right now and then I'll be in a different oh I should be in this presence right now I fall I fall all the time you know what I mean um, there's so many ways like you know, I've been through so many different types of things. Even after Pagaji, I've fallen off. I've fallen off the path. I was, you know, Marakirapa jumped on the path, fallen off the path, jumped off the path, on the path. And, and I don't think this path is a straight path. Mm -hmm. But I enjoy the path. I enjoy the downfall. I enjoy the gutter. But I enjoy, I enjoy the rise just the same. Right? Um, I remember there were e even Cholo. We shouldn't talk about all that kind of stuff, but like, let's do it. Let's That's do the it. point of this podcast and conversation. Uh, yeah, no, there might be a younger audience listening, so I don't. I shouldn't be touching on certain types of things, right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you know, you fall. The one thing I want to say is, if you fall, don't feel guilty. Don't have any guilty. You know, get back up and ride again. You know what I mean? Be resilient. Because that's what Guru Sahib made you. You are a resilient bunch, man. Resilience is in your blood, man. You can never be down. We can never be down, no matter what, right? So, you, I mean, you fall, get back up. You fall, get back up. Don't think, oh man, I messed up, this, that, this, that, this, that. 
ਮੈਂ ਤੂੰ ਮਹਾਪੁਰਸ਼ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿਤੇ ਡਿੱਗਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੋ ਚਿਲ ਆਊਟ ਬ్రో ਯੂ نو ਵਾਟ ਆ ਮੀਨ ਔਰ ਯੂ نو ਵਾਟ ਆ ਮੀਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਗੇਟ ਬੈਕ ਅਪ ਯੂ نو ਵਾਟ ਆ ਮੀਨ ਗੇਟ ਬੈਕ ਅਪ ਯੂ نو ਫਲੋ 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 ਲਾਈਕ ਦ ਰਿਵਰ ਫਲੋਜ਼ ਯੂ نو ਵਾਟ ਆ ਮੀਨ ਰਾਈਜ਼ ਲਾਈਕ ਦ ਰਾਈਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਸਨ ਅਗੇਨ ਰਾਈਟ ਡੋਨਟ ਸਟਾਪ ਡੋਨਟ ਸਟਾਪ ਐਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਡੂ ਫਾਲ ਲਰਨ ਰਾਈਟ ਐਂਡ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਸਮਵਨ ਐਲਸ ਫਾਲ ਡੋਨ ਬੀ ਹੇਨ ਹਿਮ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਨ ਮਾਰਾ ਜੇ ਆਪਨ ਨੇੜੇ ਗਰੀਵਾਨ ਮੈਂ ਸਿਰ ਨੀਵਾ ਕਰ ਦੇ ਰਾਗ ਲੋਕ ਅੰਡਰ ਯੋਨ ਕਾਲਰ ਫਰਸਟ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਯੂ ਪੁਇੰਟ ਅ ਫਿੰਗਰ ਐਂਡ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਜੱਜਿੰਗ ਕਸ ਯੋ ਯੂ ਨੇਵਰ ਨੋ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਅਜੇ ਸੋ ਨਾਲ ਸਮੁੰਦਰ ਮੈਂ ਸਮੁੰਦਰ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਜਾਣਾ ਕਿ ਹੋ ਜੇ ਦ ਬੇਡੀ ਸਟਿਲ ਇਨ ਦ ਸਮੁੰਦਰ ਦ ਦ ਬੋਟ ਸਟਿਲ ਇਨ ਦ ਇਨ ਦ ਓਸ਼ਨ ਯੂ ਨੇਵਰ ਨੋ ਰਾਈਟ ਯੂ ਨੇਵਰ ਨੋ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਫਾਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਐਟ ਦਾ ਮੂਮੈਂਟ ਕਸ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਅਸ ਹੈਵ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਐਟ ਦਾ ਮੂਮੈਂਟ ਸੋ ਹਾਰਡ to get out of those thoughts get out of that position get out of, like and you keep telling yourself like no get up let's go get up let's go but you just can't yes, honestly man sangat i swear yo that's the only way like you, i read one of my favorite books say kane hai right mm-hmm. baba hanam singh ji and he fe- so he was doing he's meditating and he's in a spiritual place and maya came to him and the maya's trying to throw like you know mess around with them throw them off and stuff and stuff so baba hanan singh ji there he goes yeah he goes i used my energy he used his energy to try to throw off maya he goes you are doing work <laughs> you know what i mean cuz <laughs> cuz i couldn't do it he was not being thinky he goes my mara game took it away mm. baba hanan singh we're talking about yeah. you know what i mean yeah. the men of men the, the the warrior warriors you know what i mean like the big man right we're talk- like these guys are talking saying these types of things right um so he did my, he did our last he did our last there so i mean there there's something we can do but once again whoever you chill with that's how you become right so i mean if you're going to chill with vakars and you're going to chill with tv where vakars are on on those certain shows or you're going to chill with whatever whatever you put in your mind whatever you put in your senses that's what you, that's what you, the man is like it's like a boat up yes like a character is gonna kadi on door painda kadi on door painda it's like you know it's like we got the devil inside us you know I, we could be the worst of the worst man like mara kripa like if something went it is kills you know you got skin someone alive mara kripa not a problem if it came down to it you know what i mean not like that very different story but at the same time you could be the be- most beautiful heart as well right you could be you could be a baba deep singh you could be a baba kariya ji you got both you know what i mean you got both um but you and but you could also be that's one side but then you got the other side you could be super evil you know what i mean super duper duper evil like people in our in our history uh, you know maharaja shri the gita like all these type of guys you could be super duper evil have a very and i think we got both inside us you know what i mean is who who you going to feed which side you going to feed that's the side that's going to come on top so if you're going to go towards you know the shop gardens and you're going to talk about you know contentment and you can talk about that you can talk about truth and you can talk about humbleness and you can talk about all these shop gardens that's one path, path you know if you're going to feed the side of anger and you're going to feed the side of ego and you're going to feed that side then then that side will grow you know what i mean I think that's a beauty of life as well. Like which way you want to flow, man. You see that in like the real human body too cuz technically in the human body everybody's born with cancer. Mm. Right? And if you live in a environmental exposure of like chemicals, right? You can say that's bad somehow. Mm. Constantly surrounded by that, even the littlest tiniest things like eating like black pepper can cause cancer. Really? Any tiny thing can cause cancer, right? Uh. But if you're surrounded by some like a chemical town called Chemtown then those tiny things can trigger your heart cancer. Mm. But if somebody else who lives in a clean society, like no factories none of that, even if they're eating like meat or black bread, any small thing that could potentially can cause cancer, it won't. Mm. Right? Because they're living in a clean environment. Mm. So exactly what you feed your body because you're ever, everybody's born with cancer. You're born with something bad. Mm. Right? Because you were saying you you're born with evil, you're born with good. What you feed your mind is what you become mm. same thing from a biological perspective from like your body is like your dog you sound like a nurse or some serious <laughs> man doesn't but yeah man but yeah that's the goal oh you're you're trying to be a nurse no i don't know what i'm trying to do <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> nice. Yeah, man. I think, yeah, we, we got both inside us, man. Which side are you going to feed? That side's going to get stronger. So the same thing with the cars. You want to take out the cars? Chill with people that, that try to take out the cars. You know, you want the car? Go chill with people that, that deal with the car. You get that too. It's everything's out there for us, man. Take your pick, right? Then how do you stay motivated to like keep going and stuff? Like it's because it's just like boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's that's the cycle, man. It depends, right? It depends what you want out of life, man. I I I set certain goals for myself for certain time time frames. Like the next five years, I want this. I have a goal for my life. In this lifetime, I want this. And that's too. I mean, that goal's been the same for what, like 25 years now, going, right? I'm still going, Maraquerpa. Um, how do you stay motivated? I don't know, man. It depends on what you surround your mind with, right? What type of stuff you put in your mind. Um, focused attention. You know what I mean? Like we talk about passion. Pa I think, yeah, if you're lucky, you find your passion. You know what I mean? But sometimes you got to dive into something and that becomes a passion right mm -hmm. so maybe you might not like certain things but then you work at it and then you work at it and you're like oh, okay and that's what that's how you gain that's what confidence is right you gain a skill as you start gaining that skill your confidence starts rising and you be, you become a confident person and and the more skills you have the more confident you are in mm -hmm. certain areas right like you might not be confident at like you know like me i might not be confident at like fixing cars or something like that but maybe i'm super confident when it comes to baking which i'm not but you know what i mean mm -hmm. like just giving that as an example right <laughs> so i think i think passion passion can be developed once you start feeding into whatever you're doing and you're like whoa this is pretty cool and you start growing at it growing at it growing at it and when you have a diverse set of skills and you bring those together maybe that could be some of your purpose maybe that's what you're here to do as well um how do you stay motivated i don't know keep diving man depends what you want man how i do it is i try to i try to surround myself with with that type of sangat right i try to chill with people when it comes down to it and, and certain times like i feel like i'm lacking then then i switch it up and i go to people I hang out with people like Pagajis of the world, you know, um, and you know some of these other things that are around. I, I, st I try to hang out with them. Mm -hmm. I, I try to hang out with a say can you have book like say can you have? I try to hang out with like Guru Granth Sahib Ji. <laughs> you know what I mean? Try to get like Katha. You know what I mean? Um, Kirtan. But I, I think like because we're communitarian beings, I think yeah we need Sangat man. You need Sangat, you need like-minded people. And that gets very difficult for people too, right? To hang out with people. I mean, it's such a different culture right now, right? Um, especially for teenagers coming, especially the social media culture, man. Like, it's such a toxic place, you know what I mean, yeah. I find, right? Yeah. Like, it, it becomes difficult, man. But that's how, that's how I would do it. I, I go hang out with, with the people that I want to be like. And then that's how you just grow towards that. I think especially because now we have like the online platform that we have as juniors. We have so many people who tell us like they want Sangat. Right? They want yeah. six that are very... Because like, even then if you meet like six, you may not meet six who are even on the path of Sikhi. 100%. Right? And we go like, we're kind of in this point. Like how do we meet people who are really... Their goal in life is... When you ask like somebody, what's your goal? Like, I want to meet Guru Sahib, mm. right? How do you meet those type of people, especially if you're not surrounded by them? Well, I tell you, when we were younger, what we did was, um, like, we used to go to Malta and Gorta. Like, I don't know, man. These, I think it was twelve thirty, I want to say, and then we used to sit there till like, and a bunch of things. Like, so I'm talking like. A lot of the younger sayings, you know, they were in universities at that time and stuff like that. So we all went and we would meet up in Malta Gorda at like 12.30 and we'll do a bit, we'll, you know, we'll go through, you know, Chandi Divar, go through Sukhani Sahib, we'll go through, you know, just all this bunny and we're there and then five, I think 4.30, 5.30 Malta Nath Simran. And then, so we'd sit there to that and then we would leave. 
and someone will go to the gym or someone do this and then obviously we would go to sleep after that right because we're not like we're students and you know we're young people and all that kind of stuff right um but that you know you just motivate it and then you see all 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 the things around and for you guys i guess you you guys could do that with bbn right and you see all these bbn around you guys take over gordara dog just do your thing man like so go there 12 30 and start rocking your body and and keep going keep going right mm-hmm. uh, that's that's how we did that's like we 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 try to keep sangha like that especially like march break and and things like that other than that we used to do weekly programs sometimes like at my house or other people's houses or you know we just go to random like sangha's house and we just used to do, like do that and then make pizza and eat it after and and that's not that's not <laughs> says that slowly <laughs> 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 But that was like an incentive, you know what I mean? Like we're doing kirtan and so we're gonna like pizza after, so <laughs> ayo, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then you start you start hanging out with people like that too, right? Mm. Um, yeah, so that that's, I think that's how you would go go about that. I guess it's just harder during COVID. Oh, oh yeah, during COVID, I don't know, man. You can still go to Gurdwara, man, no one's stopping. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but <laughs> no, you just put on your mask and you go sit in Sangat. Yeah. You can still do that, right? I, I don't, yeah, you can. yeah, you can, man. Yeah. Like I know, I was surprised. Even like I think Malta got that shut down for a bit. Jodh Prakash, not been gangsters, yo, <laughs> they held it down, man. They did not shut down. Yeah. But yo, the thing I like about Malta, they they do Prakash at two thirty, man. Yeah. That's, so you know what I mean. That's why I really enjoy that Malton is like a different vibe it doesn't matter like every time somebody new comes you're just like wow yeah <laughs> all the like Kirtanese come the Grand Thiesings have all been like next level there yeah it's always something yeah it's pretty nice you know what I'm interested in Mantra? Huh? So I know a video I told them like a million times but I know them <laughs> since grade 10 yeah. Being a social worker. Yeah. Talking to me and then dipping and never seeing <laughs> <seen> a friend. <laughs> ever. But you went from dropping out of high school to meeting a bub buddy to... How did you become a social worker? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I think the reason I became a social worker is because I wanted to heal myself, man. I didn't do it for anyone else. Even these chopis have classes, man. One of the reasons I'm really, wa- I'm even talking, I really want to do this because it keeps me engaged. <laughs> you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So like now I, I'm translating Sukhuni Seb, you know what I mean? And go home after this, I'm going to start writing again. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. You know what I mean? Like my mind is like totally absorbed in, in, in Chope Seb right now and and just like, just writing and translating and, and diving deeper and deeper and deeper. And then, fuck it, you know, like hopefully, you know, can't go there now, but like, you know, call him and be like, He'll throw a line like, whoa, damn, I never thought about it that way. And then you write that down, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm really waiting for if he were to translate it. Then we could start utilizing some of that, right? Um, but how did I become a social worker? Yo, dog, I came back, man. I came back from Pogadis. I went to adult school, right? <laughs> I went to adult school. And then I did my grade 11 English and math. And, you know, I found that difficult at that time to even focus on. Before I went, I was this, I was in this institution where I went there and I studied and I studied on my own. And this, this is a different situation, right? I wasn't allowed in school and stuff like that. Um, so I went to this institution, I did that. And then after that, I took off, I took out the public. But when I came back, I went to adult school. I did my GED. You know, it's like uh, stuff people do if they don't complete high school. Mm-hmm. So I ended up doing that, uh, and I applied to. I couldn't get into university because, you know, I didn't have grade. I didn't think I had grade twelve. Did I have grade twelve? I don't know. Maybe I did it. I don't remember now. Um, English or math, like just the basic stuff to get mm-hmm. fulfill my requirement to move on. So I applied to a bunch of colleges. I got accepted by one. <laughs> <laughs> And that was George Brown College, the Community Development Worker Program, because I wanted to go abroad and do, you know, do, do, you know, do things abroad and stuff like that and, and all that kind of stuff. So they they accepted me, so I went there, right? And that's where I learned like a lot of. I enjoyed college more than I did university, to tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. So I thought it was more practical. Mm-hmm. So I took a class. They're called interpersonal communications, mm-hmm. and that's where like, whoa, this is counseling. This is this, this is this. I'm like, yo, this is pretty cool, right? And I started utilizing that in some of my work. Um, 
I went to Jamaica as a practicum from there. I went for six weeks. Mm -hmm. I went to the poorest parish on the east side, St. Thomas. I stayed there for six, yeah, stayed there for six weeks in a band, uh, in a band and then their little shed, I stayed there. So I used to teach kid, education to kids that never made it through the education system. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I experienced, man, beautiful time there too. And uh, I lost like 20 pounds because there's no vegetarian food around, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I survived off like French French and fruit and stuff like that, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so that, that was kind of kind of hard, but it was good, man. Even there, I had my headphones on. We used to do like, uh, um, just like, you know, I took I took one, I think I took by Ranthir Sanji's book with me there, one or two of those, and I read those at that time there. And, uh, you know, anyone's interested in Sikhi, I remember we were doing Simran with some people there. They were interested in like, yo, what do you do? What is Sikhi? I went I went to, um, I went to, uh, a Rastafarian fest they have this huge mela and so they invited me there and I went there so that was pretty cool because they invited me in and stuff like that and they're talking about their stuff and stuff like that. they're asking me you know you take your bug off to come in like yeah we don't do that this is our crown this is it so just you know it's a beautiful conversation that this is what Sikhi is this is what we believe um, that was pretty cool United Sikhs and when Tsunami hit uh, with those guys I had opportunity at that time went to South India I did some work down there Tamil Nadu area and all that kind of stuff um, wow. and then life. yeah and you then life. and then I did uh, so then I got into I applied to universities and then I got into York University mm -hmm. and then uh, you know went there went studied there and uh, I, I took this class called modes of reasoning hated that class why because they taught they teach you to question everything mm -hmm. and that time I I came and that was the first time I came and then I questioned Bonnie right. right I was like whoa what the sorry I can't swear right so what like what just happened you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. like what is this man and that's the first time like yo doubt came into my heart mm -hmm. I was like whoa what is this right and then at that time, like, and you know, then I, cause it was, it was a long, I forgot what the lines were, man. And I was like, yo, how come this and this? And then eventually that got answered for me. I was ready to drop out of university at that time. I was like, yo, this is not for me. Um, I don't, I don't want to be at, at this place. But you know what? That was great because it, it challenged me. Like, all right, you know what? It's not like your guru's not pura. All right, let's find the answer then. And then we found, you know, I searched, I searched deeper, found the answer, talked to Pagaji and these guys, uh, talked to some other things and uh, dealt with that. And then throughout, you know, I did that journey, university, and then I w started working at uh, in adult mental health. So I worked at um, people with like, that were involved with the justice system. They had some sort of criminal, um, they had some sort of geeking they uh charge against them and they had mental health issues like schizophrenia bipolar or ptsd or something like that mm -hmm. so i did that for a bit um worked with that population that was a pretty interesting time and people would come to me like <laughs> i i started a, i had this dream man. i started having a dream that i had schizophrenia man you know when you first get into it you're like whoa you just get hit right like anything new you do it takes time to adjust right I'm like whoa what is this and then um but it was pretty cool and then I remember I was working on it this girl came at me and she started talking you know this is that this is that she's like Jesus Christ he's gonna bless you he's gonna bless you and she was going through an episode so I was doing a practicum at this and I did not know right it's my first time in a mental health agency and she's going on and on at me and I'm like oh okay okay my supervisor pulled me to a side Martha was her name beautiful amazing supervisor man but she did a lot of work on anti-racism and all that kind of stuff um, anti-racism anti-oppression Majari, she's probably still doing it till this day. I haven't reached out to her, and uh, she's like, "Yo, Randeep, you good?" <laughs> I'm like, "I don't know, right?" <laughs> I'm like, "What just happened?" And she's like, oh, "Okay, she's just going through an episode. That's why she's talking like that." And I'm like, "Oh, okay. So when you're bipolar, people get manic, and people come down too." And then I start, okay, as I went through it, and then I started working in the field. I actually, you know, I did start doing this for a living, and I went through like the clients and stuff like that, and then I started doing. Um, I, then I got into some of the schools out east, like at Markham side and all that kind of stuff. So I did start doing short-term therapy there, mm -hmm. uh, case management, short-term therapy. That was a pretty cool experience. Uh, 
I guess I shouldn't can't talk about any of that, right? I'm just thinking about legal obligations. No, I shouldn't be talking about any of that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, then we opened up. Uh, no, then I came to Malton, your school. What high school was that? Was, you know, Lincoln. Lincoln. So I, as a as a settlement worker, so I was there as a settlement worker. So I was in multiple schools in Malton at that time, and. Uh, while this is going on, you know, we're talking, we're negotiating, trying to deal with, because we heard there are Punjabi kids in the system, me and my wife, social worker as well. And uh, so we're like, all right, that's not like, yeah, we, well, let's do something. And like, all right. So so we went we went to like a year long negotiation and then we ended up opening this, it's called an enhanced foster care model from a South Asian lens. So it's like a group home pretty much for DC kids. So we ran that here in Brampton for two years. We ran that. and. Um, that was a different experience. You know what I mean? I want you to go more in detail on that. <laughs> oh man. So we had like random Punjabi kids coming through our house, man. And it was not even Punjabi, South Asian kids, right? And uh, it was pretty cool. The first day I met one of my daughters, man, she was like, she came to us and she's like, we walked, she came into the house. She's wearing like super short shorts. And she's wearing like this top, like you see all her Ted and all that kind of stuff. And I go to, I'm, I'm looking at Prof. Joe and we're introducing her, okay, this is her house, this is how we, you know, this is, these are rules. I don't know this kid yet, right? And and then she's like, okay, so she goes to her room and I'm like, Prof. Joe, apa ida ki karna hana hona me ta, like, you know, what I mean? how do we tell her, yo, dog, I, you can't be dressing like this, right? And like, cause she's, you can't just shut a person off right away. You can't like, you know, they're, they're going to take, you can't develop a relationship. You got to develop trust. And, um, I mean, that was experience. We, so we had multiple kids that, you know, I mean, sexual abuse, parents, that's just really bad stuff, man, that these kids went through. So they came, a lot of them came through us. And, um, I remember one kid, uh, she was, uh, so I, I used to drop her off to school in the mornings, right? And then she, I was playing Chope Sab, and I used to play with Bonnie. I like, I mean, I enjoy Keith and I enjoy everything. I just, I really enjoyed listening to Bonnie straight, right? Uh, so then I, I used to play a lot of Bonnie in the car. And then uh, I was playing, she's like, whoa. She, like, after a while, she's like, yo, I recognize this. So this was a girl that went totally opposite the Punjabi culture. Right, she like totally the other way. She like she had nothing to do with, forget religion. I'm not even talking about culture, right? You know what I mean? And uh, she's like, yo, I recognize this. Like, yo, I used to li li listen to this when I was a kid, right? I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. This is Joe Pesav and this and this and this and that, right? And uh, she even like she didn't she she would go to a family event. She didn't want to wear a suit or anything. And, you know, she came around. She started wearing a suit once in a while, like you know, the cultural piece, right, and all that kind of stuff. All my whole thing was like our house was very different in the sense that I invited families into my house and like yo, I need you here, and we need to work this. We need to work this out because this is not this is not a place for them. T they need to come back if they can or let's get these kids back man why are you putting them in the system mm -hmm. um, so I mean we went through a lot of things with these kids too man we went through I remember one of our kids man she went through a really hard time we dropped her off at her well yeah I shouldn't even talk about that kind of stuff man like went to her house and then she she came trembling, man. She couldn't handle it because just all the trauma she went through that house and it was hard, man. But then we had some beautiful moments too. Like, so Sangadi used to come to, over to the house. You know, we used to do Simran at the house in the mornings once in a while. With all South, South Asian people? The kids? Yeah. Yeah. So they weren't even like, all of them were even like Punjabi? No. So they just do Simran with all of them? No, no, not with all of them. Like, some, I'm talking about my friends. Okay, okay, okay. Like, so they used to come over in the mornings. And because uh, I couldn't go anywhere, so this is two years. I did not sleep outside of the house for one night for two years. We stayed in that house and make sure, you know what I mean, that the girls or their boys are there. No one's like mingling with each other, going to anyone's room. No one's breaking into our house. No one's doing this. I mean, we, you know, we have all this type of stuff. Uh, so they used to come over, and then one of the girls, she's used to. So she was, she, she was like interested in like you know meditation and things like that she got interested like as a way of healing yourself and stuff like that 
even physical activity, you know, I try to put on boxing and all that kind of stuff. Like, yo, whip there, you, you good, man, let's go, you got this, you know what I mean? Like, you, 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 no one no will hold you down, man, let's, we got this. And then, uh, so she would, I remember she would come, so she would go outside on our porch and she'll, she'll smoke a blunt, and then she'll come and she'll sit with us, and then we would do simmer together, right? I'm like, whoa, it's beautiful, right? Like, yo, all it takes is a blunt, like, it's, yeah, man, I don't care, come, let's do simmer, right? And then, um, she would even she would be getting ready and then she'd do it she'd be doing simmer she started doing simmer just combing her hair getting ready going out with her friends and stuff like that um so that that was that was pretty cool to see man one of our kids he was, he was christian so we, we we would like try to read the bible with him try to do stories from the bible and all that kind of stuff um one of the kids i remember so i used to like you know play bunny as well and it's like at night times like the kids like yo run deep I couldn't, like, that was weird last night. Like, yo, you, it was like, I couldn't, the sleep was kind of awful. Like, why, what's up? Like, like, yo, you weren't playing, you weren't playing Barney and stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, that's true, man, my bad, right? They didn't play that. So that, that was, that was pretty cool too. Um, I remember once we were going to, <laughs> so these girls, they want to, I don't know, they want to get their eyebrows done or hair done, I don't know, whatever, right? <laughs> so I'm walking with them, like, it's like 15, 16 year old girls, right, two of them, right? So I'm walking with them. They went to this beauty pro. Oh, yeah. Got a dada full, dada full, like, bugger going on. So I walk into this beauty salon, and uh, BB on there is probably, I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking they're staring at me, like, hey, they knew we like, what are you doing here, right? So the girls are like, yo, we want this, we want this. And like, yo, bejo, carlo, yo, carna. Like, yo, let me know what the bill is. You got to deal with what you got to deal with, right? And then, so it was pretty cool, but after that, they were talking, they're like, so she asked one of the girls, workers there, like yo okay you guys are doing it and through comes said like yo who's that guy and like oh that's her dad i was <laughs> like oh that's pretty cool right and then just to put myself in a role like that um that was pretty cool like i never want to deal with younger kids because i thought that would be too intense for me i like that i like the teenage population um there'll be times we'd have to go pick them up from from uh, the police station and things like that and you know it was pretty fun man it was, it was it was funny at the same time because yo those are experiences they're gonna grow up with it's unfortunate at the same time because not everyone got back to their families not everyone you know what i mean um so do you still keep in touch with them to some degree yeah yeah i try to i have i have a i still have a fund for one of them i want to give her like i don't know they can't get, but like uh, i have some money saved for her i want to give her one day and uh, so we'll see what's up. It's still sitting there. It's growing. <laughs> <laughs> and like the biggest thing, when I first heard about this, I actually heard about your foster home mm. um, from another pen. Mm. And she told me that the way that like Pai, like Abdi, raise those kids is just pure love. Like not saying that, oh, do this, this is, or putting any rules to them. It's just like, you want love, you didn't get it, here it is. It's like if you if you get a if you get a kid that hoards that hoards food what's the solution for that the only solution for a kid that hoards food is you throw more food at them you know what i mean if they take food and they hoard it under their bed cuz they're afraid cuz they never got food when they were kids what do you do Fill your car up with as much grocery as you can. Oh, they fair better they let a fridge par do car par like yo what do you need man let me know that's it that's all you got to do they're like yo is this real am i really gonna get food all the time is this like for real and you just keep throwing it till they're like yo this is real man and the same thing man like one thing that really gets to me as well is like like one of one of my friends uh he you know he cut his hair right he you know and people think because someone cuts their hair, they left sick. Oh, come on, man. You guys think this is such a small path, man? This this path is beyond this beyond our comprehension, man. It's like one of the things really, he, he told me good. He goes, yo, if you take a dog and you tie a rassi around a, a pole, and the dog's going to run in all directions, but yo, where's it going to go? <laughs> it's going to come back, man. Like, like it, it's always around there. But I'm not comparing my friend to a dog. Like, no, <laughs> Like this is one of my really good friends. So like he cut his hair, and then all these people started hating on him. People that are things mm. that are walking on the path. First of all, if you're walking on the path, 
look under your own collar before you talk about anyone, right? And then, like, you know, so I, 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 don't, I don't appreciate when people start judging other people and they now focus on their own life. You know what I mean? Like, yo, you're not here for too long. You're only here for a short period. Like, deal, deal with your stuff and get out, right? Deal with your own stuff. If you're going to spread anything, spread love. Mm -hmm. If you want to judge anyone, talk to them one-on-one. Go, why are you, why are you banging, we're banging them out on social media? Go meet with them and say, bro, you need anything? I'm here for you. What do you need? Anything you need, let me know. That's how you bring someone. If you want to bring someone in, you, you can't bring them through fear. You can't bring them through hate. You bring them through love. That's the only path. Sikhi is a path of love. There's, no, there's nothing else here. And if you want something else, man, that's, that's not what this is about, man. Right? I heard this, this one yogi, he said this one thing. He said, if your breath smells bad, your nose is right here and your mouth is right here. But you can't smell your bad breath. But everyone else can. But everyone else can. And the yeah. first thing somebody does when they meet you is, yo, your breath stinks. Mm. They'll tell you right away, right? You've so been listening to my sadhguru, man. Yeah, him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> him. But that's the thing, right? We, the first thing we do is we look at pick and pick. And we choose this is wrong, this uh, is wrong. We look at people's faults. Uh, but we can't see our own fault, even though it's right here. Yeah, right? man. Yeah. That's why, I mean... I don't know, it's such a delicate path, right? Mm. But it's such a beautiful path, right? And if someone's fallen on the path, like, yo, keep it up, you will be able to do it. Like, pick them up. Yeah. Support them. And move on, right? And if you, if, if you can't support them, don't hate them either, man. Mm. Don't bring that and ruin your own life either. You know, you bring hatred into your heart, which, I, I mean, I'm guilty of too, man. Like, I've heard a lot of people over the years brought hatred into my heart. These are battles that, like, you know, you ask me how to do it. I fall all the time, man. I hate on people. I do this. I do that, man. Like, I do stuff I'm not supposed to do. But, yo, giddy up. Let's go back again. You know what I mean? You mess up, jump back again. You mess up, jump back again. Ain't nothing going to hold us down. End of the day, you know, Marazenya, all of all, everyone. Right. I feel like these experiences also like I know before you were telling me before like, they, this type of stuff it also takes you down in your sikhi too right mm. but it also in my like when I hear these things I think that you learned so much about kima mm. and like sharda and prem mm. and those brought your sikhi up mm. to like next levels as well so these experiences not only yeah there was things where you come down but also so many things that built and, and like, it's not religion. like like it's over you know what I mean like, and this is another thing I like, I, I don't appreciate. So, Kalnu, so say someone listen there. Kalnu Randeep Singh, this thing, this guy here sitting here cuts his hair. Mm -hmm. This guy becomes a patet or some, this guy, you know, does some weird stuff or something like that. Like, oh, if your Sikhi is based on a Randeep Singh, mm -hmm. damn, that's very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Pagaji, and Pagaji taught me this. I mean, as much, like, personally, in, Throughout these 39 years that I've walked, I don't think I've met another person with a alasta as, as Pagaji has. Just from personal, like things I can't, I'm not even, I shouldn't even be sharing. Like, you know, things he's, we we went through, I've been through with him and you know what I mean? But I fully believe I haven't met a person till date uh, with, with a alasta as Pagaji. But at the same time, my Sikhi is not based on a Pagaji. Pagaji is my older brother. My Sikhi is not based on a Pagaji. My Sikhi is based on my Guru. My Sikhi is based on Shabada. My Sikhi is based on Shabada. And when this body goes, my Sikhi is based on the Ton and the Shabada. You know what I mean? Until if, I, you know, if we have to go to another body or whatever, whatever the case may be. It's, it's, it's the Man that travels and it's the Shabada that go together. Right? You wake that up now, you wake that up later, you know what I mean? It, you got to do, yeah. do it, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not, Pagaji, Pagaji is what? Like he's what, 84 years old? Mm -hmm. Right? And you look at his journey, man, as he was younger and he grew and he grew and he grew. It's not like, he wasn't always a Pagaji. Mm -hmm. You know, he was, yo, he used to like whip people's, you know what I mean? The Jatha too. He did Pan Seva, he did Seva of, um, uh, Akhandapar Seva and like, he was an aggressive dude, man. You know what I mean? Look at Jawar Singh. Jawar Singh is like, yo, man. Like a strong man. He like 
punky, just like, like, can't mess with a Jawar say. Yeah. But yo, when he gets humble, like I seen him, man. I remember we were in Montreal, Montreal Lashin Gordora once, and the uh, Pai Avtar Singh, Raghi Avtar Singh Ji, big, the guys, right? I think they passed away, right? Or no? I don't know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be saying that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. His his son does Kirtan, Ra Kirtan. These guys do Ra Kirtan, mm -hmm. right? And um, they were doing Kirtan. They came to Montreal at that time. His older brother. I remember they used to get like uh, Atta and they used to put it on Tabla and they used to play like that. And he, oh, his brother, all day, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. He does not talk internally. Keeps going, keeps going. And I remember Jawar saying, and the, yo, he let out this, this Kirtan, he let out this like voice. And I was like, oh my God, what a beautiful voice. <laughs> like, who is this guy? Right? By Avtar Singh. And, uh, but Jawar Singh, he was doing, um, he was in a room that time and uh, he shut the door, right? The door shut and, and, I, and I went and I went to go talk to Jawar Singh, man. I don't know what I was going to say. Like, I think I was looking for him like, yo, come dog, check out the geek then, right? Or I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> and like, and I looked at him and I stopped because I saw, like, I saw his face. I'm like, yo, this guy is in a different zone right now, right? Like his face was super red. But you know what he would say? He was on Sharabi and the movie Lali Hunda so what? Right? You know what I mean? Like that's what that's something like a Jar Singh would say, right? <laughs> right? So like, I don't know man. What were we talking about? I don't, I don't even know man. But yeah. We're talking about love. Love. Yeah, man, love love is a beautiful concept, man. Like, I mean till day, like I mean, I'll share another thing with you guys. Till day like what is love man i don't even know what love is tell you the truth man i think i think love is pure sacrifice i think love is love is letting go attachment is attachment is like you grab onto like till day like i've been married what like nine ten years now no ten years we just passed till day we have me and my wife we have we never said like i love you to each other we just never said it what because mm -hmm. that don't exist man what is love man like tell Janak, Janak Seng is almost five years old. I've never told, I've never used the word love with them because I think like love is a very different thing. I think like, see this, this goes away, you know, Randeep goes away, Janak Seng goes away. Where's love? Did love disappear? Love is that limited? Is only meant to be with the body? Can't be, man. I think that's the time. Yeah, I mean, Janak needs anything. I'm here. Oh, you need like, you know, you need a kidney and this, that, nah, chakala ko hini, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna, I got like, I think we got two weeks, right? Whatever. You know what I mean? Like, take one, it's all good, right? No problem. Young, young blood, like, do what you gotta do, right? Um, but attachment is when you grasp something, you know what I mean? And love is when you let go, parfulta hondiya. Like, love is, I think, states that are so deep that are beyond comprehension, beyond intellect, and beyond uh, feeling. I don't think love is a feeling, man. I think love is like, love is what by by uh, by Mati Das Ji felt. I think love is what by Kanaya Ji feels, if it, if you want to call it a feeling. I think love is eternal. I don't think love has love is not limited to a body. Mm -hmm. And I think love can only be honestly is once you once with the union, when when the Atma meets the Parma Atma, right? I think that's that's where love love exists, right? You know, with Chad Lama, right? First round of marriage, you know, we, all that second round of marriage, right? Third round of marriage, you banda a little bit better. It's only until the fourth round where you actually get the malap, right? And uh, oh yeah, we were talking about before that. We were talking about yeah, not putting people on pedestals, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't base your sikhi uh, I don't think anyone should base their sikhi of people. Oh, but yo, these guys are gordore, they're fighting over this, they're fighting over this, I don't want to go gordore. Dog, what's that got to do with you, man? Like, you let them fight. That's why is that based on your sikhi? You want to learn about a faith? Read their text. Mm -hmm. You want to learn about Islam? Read the Quran. You want to learn about sikhi? Understand Guru Granth Sahib Ji. That's what you need. Once you re read that, you will have the faith outlined for you. You will know what it is. That's all you need to do. Why you need to look for a third or a fourth or a fifth person to give you, oh, this is what this is, this is what... No, that's not what it is, man. That's not what it is. Because, like, yeah, like we said, so now some of them are going to The boat's still in the ocean, man. You can fall at any time. We don't know. And you know what the beautiful part is? Falling is, is a part of the journey, too, sometimes. And it's beautiful. You know what I mean? You know, man, like, 
ਈਵਨ ਜੇ ਬੰਦਾ ਸਿਖਰ ਤੇ ਚੜਿਆ ਹੋਵੇ ਜਿਸੇ ਭਲਾਈ ਪੰਦ ਸਿਰ ਤੇ ਸੇ ਦਿਖਾਵੇ ਕੌਣ ਜਿਸੇ ਜਿਸੇ ਦਿਖਾਲਾ ਵਾਟਰੀ ਤੇ ਸੇ ਭਲਾਵੇ ਕੌਣ ਯੂ ਗੋ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਵਾਕ ਔਨ ਦ ਪਾਥ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਕ ਔਨ ਦ ਪਾਥ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਪਾਥ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਬਾਰ ਮੇਕ ਇਟ ਯੂ ਬਾਰ ਗੈਟ ਅ ਮਲਾਪ ਉੱਥੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਭੁੱਲ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਐ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਹਜੇ ਉਹ ਠਾਕ ਮਾ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਉਹ ਠਾਕ ਮਾ ਲਾਈਕ ਥੀਸ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਆਰ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਵਰ ਡੀਲਿੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਲਾਈਕ ਪੀਪਲ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਦ ਮਲਾਪ ਈਵਨ ਹੈਪਨਸ ਯੂ نو ਉਤੇ ਉਤੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਭੁੱਲਦੇ ਆ ਮੈਨ ਆਪਾਂ ਕੌਣ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਜੱਜ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਮੈਨ ਆਪਣਾ ਆਪ ਸਵਾਰ ਲਓ ਵੀ ਹੀਅਰ ਫਾਰ ਸ਼ਾਰਟ ਪੀਰੀਅਡ ਆਫ ਟਾਈਮ ਡੀਲ ਵਿਦ ਯਰ ਓਨ ਇਨਸਿਕਿਉਰਿਟੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਯਰ ਓਨ ਵਾਟਐਵਰ ਇਜ਼ ਹੈਪਨਿੰਗ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਯੂ ਆਈ ਮੀਨ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਥੈਰੇਪੀ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਬਿਊਟੀਫੁਲ ਟੂਲ ਟੂ ਮੇਬੀ ਆਮ ਜਸਟ ਜਸਟ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਮੇਬੀ ਆਈ ਡੂ ਥੈਰੇਪੀ ਬਟ ਆਈ ਦ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਆਈ ਗਾਟ ਇਨ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਵਰਕ ਇਜ਼ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਟੂ ਡੀਲ ਵਿਦ ਮਾਈ ਓਨ ਇਸ਼ੂਸ ਰਾਈਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਜਸਟ ਟੂ ਲਰਨ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਮਾਈ ਸੈਲਫ ਬਟ ਯਾ ਮੈਨ ਇਕ ਕੋਈ ਰਿਲੋਕ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਸੋ ਅਫਰੇਡ ਆਫ ਫੇਲੀਅਰ ਐਂਡ ਫਾਲਿੰਗ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਰ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਏਵਰੀਬਡੀ ਆਈ ਕੈਨ ਸਪੀਕ ਓਨਲੀ ਫਰ ਮਾਈ ਸੈਲਫ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਮ ਸੋ ਅਫਰੇਡ ਆਫ ਲਾਈਕ ਫਾਲਿੰਗ ਔਰ ਮੇਕਿੰਗ ਅ ਮਿਸਟੇਕ ਔਰ ਦੈਟ ਫੇਅਰ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਇਨ ਮੀ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਲਾਈਕ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ ਯੂ ਜਸਟ ਫਾਲ ਬਟ ਦੈਨ ਯੂ ਆਲਸੋ ਜਸਟ ਲਰਨ ਐਂਡ ਕੀਪ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਯਾ ਫੇਲੀਅਰ ਇਨ ਐਨੀਥਿੰਗ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਫੇਲੀਅਰ ਇਜ਼ ਬਿਊਟੀਫੁਲ ਮੈਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਲਾਈਕ ਪਰਸਨਲੀ ਐਸ ਆਮ ਗੈਟਿੰਗ ਓਲਡਰ ਆਈ ਐਮਬ੍ਰੇਸ ਫੇਲੀਅਰ I learn so much from failure. I grow so much from failure, man. It's not until I fail that I see, oh man, maybe I shouldn't have done it this way. Okay, now I can do this. Now okay, I can do this. But I never I'm very I I'm gentle with myself. I'm hard with myself as in like like yo, okay, we're playing soccer, yo. I'm winning. <laughs> Your best player ain't getting by me. No, that's not happening. Let's go. I'll see you know? on the field. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> But I'm very gentle with myself as like, oh, you know what? You messed up. sorry mana koi ni chal fe chal get up let's go again you know what i mean i don't i don't i don't hurt myself uh, inside you know i don't i don't shame myself i don't put myself down um in fact you know i talk to my man i talk to my man sometimes like you know like chal out koi ni let's move again you know what i mean um so i think it's very important to be gentle with yourself and don't don't j- laugh at yourself once in a while too man like it's okay man ho janda chal koi nahi like move on right let's go so i think i think these are these are important things to uh for self growth and consistently grow man anything you do and that's one thing i really admire about guru sahib man like you look at guru gobind singh ji's life you look at all our gurus life anything they touch they are like genius as i you know what i mean and i really appreciate that like anything i want to do i want to be amazing at like no matter what it is and i might not like it but i'm definitely going to give it 110% right i think we need to live like that anything you do you got to be amazing at yeah in the world you got to utilize your ego i get that you got to get the vartani bindi hai you got to use it here and there but when it comes to sikhi it's a total opposite man you got to die you got to know that you don't know like you got to truly know yo i don't know and you got to dive and dive and just stay with shab and beg and beg and beg and develop that relationship with maharaj and just yeah keep that flowing so what you're saying like building sustainable like consistent growth consistent thoughts how do you do that what do you mean by that what kind of thoughts like you're like uh, right now you just mentioned that what if you're going keep going at consi- consistently at it yeah how do you build that consistent growth how do you build that i think you have to have an interest in whatever you're doing mm-hmm. right and to to build it is and i think that's a chardi kala mindset too right by you're never going to stop <laughs> you know what i mean like you look at baba ji singh ji you know he look at him war time you know what i mean like he not stopping man he not gonna stop man mm-hmm. like he's gonna go till he can't go no more and yo if that's my own these are my older brothers these are our old and i you know one thing i like to tell people if your last name is singh or you have a core in your name now nah, your lineage is <laughs> my god you know what i mean mm-hmm. you come from a very powerful lineage man you come from people that do not stop man they they are 110 120 percenters man and anything they do like 
whether it be learning a new language, whether it be being the best social worker you can be, whether it be anything you do, I think you just got to be great at because that's what our history teaches us. I, you know, but the Mahapur, used to say, like, you know, some other ones, say, like, if, if you want to develop love, like, read history, right? I think history has a lot of lessons from. I, for one, am, like, the worst history person. Like, I cannot remember Asaki for the life of me. But when you tell me, I'm like, whoa, that's so cool. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? When someone, like, I listen to these guys talk about Saki and stuff, I'm like, oh, my God, that's so beautiful, man. Um... I think I think history has a lot to teach us how how we gotta be. And that's when I look at Guru Gobind Singh. Ji. How many languages? <laughs> yeah. How many languages? Yeah. Warfare, like horse riding, like poetry. what what, what? Poetry, 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 like, like Vidya. you know what I mean. Right. And we're here trying to f focus on one career and one one thing. <laughs> and I'm like, no, nah, I'm trying to diversify my skill set, yo. Uh, <laughs> If anything, I'm trying to diversify. But when I'm not diversifying my skill set, I'm shutting the mind off. That's what I. That's my practice. I enjoy. Uh, dive into body and 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 zone out into body and and that's it. And and the thought. Like and that doesn't mean that that's for one thing. Another thing I should say, that does not mean that's the path that everyone's going to walk like you know I, I talk to some of these things and they have very different experiences than I do right um, walking on the spiritual path certain people oh I hear the, uh, I hear instruments inside me I hear this this is happening inside me some people be like oh I saw this and this happened and this happened it does not mean that's going to happen for everyone everyone's got their own relationship with Maharaj right mm -hmm. I think stuff flows for different people at a different way you know according to their own relationship right so, like some of the things, I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool, man. But these are experiences I've never had, right? And um, and your experiences are your own, right? And uh, so don't also don't look at, don't listen to this and think, oh, this is what I need or this is what I gotta go through because yo, this guy Randeep went, no, man, forget this Randeep. Like, this is just his experience. You know what I mean? You have your own experience, and your experience is just, a, if not more beautiful than this experience. You know what I mean? Like enjoy your personal journey right and we're here to learn off each other man i learn off all these things all like guys younger than me my age all the time man i look at these guys for inspiration man all the time and uh in fact i look at people that are not even on the path man <laughs> i tell you the truth i look at them too i look at, i look at some people that like you know even my foster kids man I learned a lot from those guys too man right like these guys taught me quite a bit about how to be, how to be present, how to just like have patience. You know what I mean? So I think I think you could gain a lot of kala from from, from a lot of places, right? Yeah. You can learn from everything. You can always take a lesson. Still, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you now you're now you don't have like uh, foster kids or anything like that. So Janak Singh was born in that house. And then, yeah, we didn't think it fair to Janak or the or all the kids that are coming through the system to to be handling both. So no, uh, I left. I left that. And it was because of your own sign. Oh, we had a two-year contract. That okay. two-year contract was coming up anyways. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that as well. And I also wanted to pursue other things now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why do you name him Janak? Is it Raja Janak? Tu ta Janak Raja. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> You, I really respect Raja Janak's story. Yeah. Jaja Yasi. We were thinking about, you know, a couple names with Jaja. And then, I don't know, me and Prabhjo, both of us were like, yo, Jaja, Janak, you know what I mean? That's like, he didn't look like a Jora to me at that time. You know what I mean? <laughs> he didn't look like a warrior type of kid. I'm <laughs> like, yo. So I'm like, yo, Janak, yeah, man. But man, he is he a Jora now, man. This guy's wild. <laughs> right? But yeah, no, that like I we had like so many weird names flowing, man. Like um like Jamas Hoddan and this that we're just joking around though, right? Oh, like okay. we're just Jamas Hoddan. <laughs> like yeah. Uh Janak Odasi saying uh, this that like we had so many things that that I that I vibe with. Like like said the ghost, one of my favorite bunny of all time, right? Yeah. And like, you know, so my Favorite, favorite, like said the sava kare asane baithe santa sava jaga some of my favorite lines, right? Like um, 
so much I can there and then but yeah so I, I just thought Janak would be would be a beautiful name and uh, maybe some of those qualities He's in uh, we'll, people now. well let's see hopefully he saves himself first man <laughs> he, he talks about anyone else yeah so yeah that's why Janak sang I always tell like my students, I'm like, what is your name? What does it mean? Then we find out, I'm like, that's your purpose. Mm. That's what you're going to go and do in life. His name is Janik, he's going to be found. He's going to go out and help people. Let's see. Well, let's see what he does. He <laughs> might become a beautiful artist or something. Who knows? He's at forest school right now. So I got him in this forest school. And uh, so it's an outdoor school. I was telling you guys before too, so it's an outdoor school. So in the winters, I dress him up in like winter gear. In the summers, he's like in summer gear and they like go and like, whoa, this is deer poo. This is what deer poo looks like. Oh, this is, we're going on in a magical forest. And oh, this is where like, you know, the deers came and this is where they laid down yesterday because the grass is like this. And so it's, it's pretty cool, man. I got him out in here in a forest school. Um, and I just, I just feel like with his personality, like, nature is such an important part that i want to instill in him now because we enjoy camping right me bro, like i really enjoy nature I, I like i love being in it i camp quite a bit uh used to um and uh something that i want to i want to pass on to janak mm. yeah i think it's necessary especially if you think about in like a general mindset like even the world aspect we are no longer becoming food secure because we just missed a generation of teaching kids how to like fish, hunt, how to grow their own food, how to cook their own food, how to live in this world. Like mm. it's, that's a generation, we're a generation that just kind of skipped that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so I have so many dreams of like all the open parks. I'm like, get these out of here, build a garden. And uh. they're all the elderly, they're bored anyways, they go on walks every day. It's like they'll start doing kitty and then they'll teach the kids. I saw a really beautiful concept. It was a Waldorf school out here. Uh, I think it was in Toronto and they have like a senior center on site and they have a school mm -hmm. on like in the same sort of acreage it's like quite a big like space and what a beautiful way eh? so you have your seniors there mm -hmm. and the Bajari are you know they're bored and stuff like that if they've never been through you know if they haven't woken up yet and all that stuff so they're they're bored and all that kind of stuff and now you got kids you imagine connecting those two generations together and what sort of information can start flowing from there and what sort of growth can happen for these individuals it's beautiful man i thought it was a beautiful concept maybe one day when when we as a calm start organizing our money we can do we can do certain things like you know including bringing in mental health services for free for our young people and our older people as a senior senior center we need, need to deal with that that issue too no, but those guys combined it. I was like, oh my God, Kids what a beautiful elderly? thing. Together? Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. I really like that, man. I like that too. Let's do it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's a tent we could attempt. Let's see what <laughs> happens. Be my go to person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, I'm just always like trying to find somebody to do stuff with her. And like, I was like, now you got it. I was like, you guys are going to form a partnership. Social worker. And get it done. Social workers. I'll be their manager. Call yeah. me for <laughs> You be yeah, you be the manager, and you you organize everything. Yeah, you do all the hard work. <laughs> well, I'm down for that because I I I enjoy the work. Yeah. I really enjoy. I you know what I enjoy? I enjoy struggle. You know what I mean? Like, I enjoy putting myself in a mindset of struggle. I enjoy building something from scratch and seeing it flourish, and then doing it again, and then doing it again. Um, you know, sometimes I'd be like driving and I look up. And you know, there's someone that's older than me, and they're sitting on a bus stand. And I think to myself, like Maraj, like yo, no appreciate it, yo. You gave me a, you gave me a ride, you gave me a car. But yo, why do I get this car in there, going on a bus? I think that, you know what I mean? Like I go to the Gordora, and like I used to like I never used to park in the front or in the front section. I always used to park at the further end if I knew, especially it's a weekend and Sangha's gonna come. Like why? Because, you know, that's where Sangat. That is a place where Sangat should park so they could walk there easy. If I'm a young little kid, I, mean, I should park the furthest and make sure everyone's okay inside and everything's going properly, right? That's, that should be my responsibility. If we are, then, then make it work. Then, then do it, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, man. I have other concepts, too, that I, I, I won't share with you guys because I don't want people to start following my lead because it's not 
it's not fully proper but yeah never mind they're gonna do that for the Shadda series the parking far away <laughs> what's that oh on Ajit News we started the Shadda series uh. where we look at what other Gorsiks do and then why they do it because that's a sign of love right uh. that you park far away so that other Gorsiks can come in easier yeah. that's a sign of Shadda for your Sangat you're gonna do that for Shadda Yo, you guys are like big time, eh? Ajadi. <laughs> what is it? Ajadi <laughs> News? Ajadi <laughs> Awaz? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Like, after you were mentioning uh, struggle, I think that's like a huge thing because a lot of us are uncomfortable getting out of our comfort. 100% we are. It takes effort, man. <laughs> that's a, it's a hard thing to do. But yo, start. You know what? Right now, just do it. Go for it. Just do it and see what happens. It, it's going to be uncomfortable. But then when you start gaining that skill, you'll be like, whoa, damn, I didn't know I could do that. You just gained a new skill. And you're like, okay, let me try again. Let me try again. That's how you develop resiliency. You know, what I mean? Like, just keep at it, man. Keep at it. Don't stop, man. And don't, don't put yourself, oh, if this happens, then I'll do this. If this happens, then I will do this. If You know what I mean? No, man. Do it now. Right now. Stop listening to this and go and do whatever that needs to be done. You know? But the Kweed Sevji talks about all that. You know what I mean? Like, yo, you can do it tomorrow, do it now, do it now. Do it right now, man. You know what I mean? Do it right now. Do what you got to do. Don't be afraid of it. You know Failure, failure is a beautiful tool, man. Don't be afraid to fail in people's eyes, because if you fail in people's eyes, the people that are gonna pe people don't matter. End of the day, man. First of all, you're only here for a little bit, right? And you've been here before. It's not like it's our first round here, man, right? And even if uh, someone does, you know, hate on you, well, they're not meant to be with you. They're not meant to be in your life. And the people that are support that are gonna support you. They're gonna support, like they're gonna pick you up and like chala koini otpata. Let's move again. Let's make a move. Let's go. Mm. Just whatever you gotta do, do and do it hard. How would you question. define somebody? Who, how would you define success then? Success is doing what you really want to do. Yeah, doing what you really want to do. And not letting obstacles, not letting fear, oh, forget obstacles, fear. Mm -hmm. Don't ever let fear hold you down. Because mm -hmm. where is this? I read this quote, man. Who is this quote? I don't know. I think a basketball player or someone. Like, what was it? Oh, Will Smith or something? I don't know, man. Like, fear is an option. Danger is real. But fear, is, Kobe? I, so. I don't know. I don't know. So one of these guys, man. Like, yeah, so fear is an option. Yeah, danger, if your life's in danger, yo, that's real. Whatever, you deal with it that time, right? You got to fight, you got to fight, you got to deal with whatever you got to deal with. But fear, that's like, oh, shit, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. What am I going to say? It's going to happen, man. So what? You know what I mean? There's a process there to enjoy from that process. Learn from that process, man. What's going to happen? Like I remember this whole COVID thing happened. Oh my God, COVID happened, COVID happened. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna, what's gonna, yo, what's the worst that can happen really? You might pass away, right? <laughs> like so, yeah, you, you, your body might go, so, so what? Mm. Like yo, this is, it's gonna go anyways, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so what it goes a little bit earlier. Like, don't live in fear, man. Fear paralyzes people. Like, don't ever live in fear, man. That's all. Yeah. And and I do that on purpose. If I'm afraid of something, I'll go at it. Like, I'll challenge it. Like, if I'm afraid to do something, like, we didn't, I didn't know how to swim. I was afraid of swimming. Me and one of the sayings, we went to YMCA and we started taking lessons and I learned how to swim. That's it. Right? Yeah. Like, don't, don't let fear inside you, man. Guru Sahib Ji and Guru Sahib teaches us this. Don't scare anyone. Don't be scared. And yeah, we're going to be scared. But dive towards that fear. And then you realize, oh, I could overcome this. That wasn't so bad. Mm. But you got to move. You got to move on it. Yeah. Uh, he, you know, fear paralyzes, man. Stay away. Like, 
don't don't let fear creep into your life, man, at all. Uh, I want to go back to this thing that of you mentioning before. How you're like, if some people are not meant to be, they just let go. But a lot of people struggle with that part part of letting go. What do you mean? Like, to see how many guys you got. Um, like, if somebody's not supposed to be part of your life, some people come and go. Okay. But that thought of letting go in your mind that, okay, I gotta let this person go. They're out of my life. They're gone. Well, when, when you're so busy doing what you're supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. you don't have time <laughs> to entertain other people in your mind, anyways. Got you, got you, got you. No? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, that, that's what I think, man. Like, yo, I gotta wake up. Say, I gotta wake up at 12 30. Like, there's, a, okay. Perfect. I, I, I shouldn't be naming names. This thing's gonna hate on me for this. You're probably not gonna listen. These guys don't even listen to any of this. These guys waking up at like 11:30 at night, and they're going and they're sitting. And they're doing a bath till like you know, like till like seven, eight uh, in the morning, and then they go to sleep for like a couple hours. And then they do the thing. You think though? And I asked that thing. I'm like saying we're going to Smogam in Montreal. You wanna come? You know what he said to me? He was bro. I have no time. Like, well, how am I gonna call? I'm gonna drive all the way to Montreal for five hours. I have no time for that. These guys are so absorbed in their daily practice, and 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 he works too. It's not like he doesn't work. Like this thing works, man. You know what I mean? Like, how are you gonna? How are you gonna? What? And then I just met that job again. I get you, bro. You're absolutely right, man. Like, yeah. How how is he gonna have time? He goes, I'm going to eat food, 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 I'm going to eat food. I'm like, bro, you are 110%, yes. Wow, I can't imagine somebody living a life like that. Like never taking a break. Your mind never off. Well, Guru Sahib Ji is not off. Their mind is off though. Well, yeah. So when they meditate, that's the beauty of meditation. You're in full rest mode. Like, yo, some people, there, I think the reason people, like, you know, go, yo, these guys sleep only two, three hours a day or this and that, is because when you're meditating, you're in such a beautiful, restful state at that time. Mm. You know what I mean? Because your mind, it stops wandering. The thoughts, the thoughts subdue. And it's just, you don't even know where you are sometimes until you open your eyes. Like, okay, yo, all right, let's, time to go. <laughs> you know what I mean? So these guys, I think, like they are resting at that time too yeah yeah so like that's in, like something that a lot of people struggle with they either think that okay i'm gonna spend eight months and just focus on my sikhi um or even like me right a lot of people like when they're school or when they're working okay i just gotta give 110 to my school work i can't really focus on doing this much of the ass right now right so when you left Babaji's and you had to go back to the real world, how did you maintain your security? <laughs> Yo, man, this is something I struggle with. I till today, man, I struggle with. I can only do one thing at a time. Mm. I can't do multiple things. I tried, man. I tried, like I look, you know. Okay, now I'm grasty. Now I can start balancing life more, and the, that's why I give it to you know this this Taksali mindset, man, that we come from. Sometimes it just doesn't. It's such a hard like. It's so hard to balance it, man. Yeah. Because we not taught balance in this mindset. You know what I mean? Like, there's no. That's why I respect. And man, I love these the the Jatha things, man. Yeah. So these guys, man, they balance. They do their body. They love beautiful family lives. They do beautiful kirtan, man. Like, and a lot of them, like yo, it's so beautiful how they 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 could do everything, man. Yo, I I find it really difficult. If I'm like even today, like till day, like if I work, if if you give me a project, like yo, we gotta, you know, we, this is what we're doing in terms of if I have a work thing that I gotta do, yo, my 110%, my I'm, I'm zoned in on that. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe I'll play keep in the back if I can or something like that, but I'm zoned in that. Um, but if you, if it's like my time, like yo, it's like money time, like yo, no, no one talk to me right now. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to hear anything, and I'm trying to shut everything out at that time. Um, but I think everyone does that. But some guys, they find a very fine balance. Some, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. I, I just don't know how to do that. No, I admire that, that though. He, he does. He wakes up at eleven. He does eight hours of eight hours of abhyas, and he goes to work. I'm like thinking. Like, how is somebody doing something like that? Yeah, so so he, I think he works about five, six hours a day. And then he's back at it before he goes to sleep. He's back at his practice again before he sleeps as well. Um, 
but that's possible because he does get sleep too yeah. he does he does get enough sleep but he doesn't like you know like there's no working out for him there's no family life for him there's no like this is what he does this is his choice this is what he chose to do and he's doing it at a, at a high level right? so it's really you know nice to see but I, I mean yeah I, d I don't know how to balance man I'm, I'm trying to learn I really try to learn but I just couldn't do it man and I still struggle with it mm -hmm. I'm trying like I dropped Janik Singh at school and I'm doing this and I'm gonna go or oh, maybe do some work and like I, I just I don't know wrong person to ask man <laughs> so we want to ask you what are some things you do in your uh, do or include in your life what are some things that I do or include in your life I I work out I enjoy working out um, like playing soccer and things like that I try to intermittent fast <laughs> 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 intermittent fasting <laughs> does that work yeah, man, yeah, it works. Uh, what else do I do in my life? Yeah. What are five things you would recommend everyone to incorporate in your in their life? Five things that I think everyone should incorporate in life: they should work out, they should uh, follow their passion, um, or do something that that rises. You know, like they do something and then see if passion arises from that. That's one thing they should do. They should have a daily practice of some sort. Um, you should eat right, not emotionally eat, and learn if you are eating emotionally and you think, you you know what I mean, or you, you don't need to be eating this right now, but you are, learn why you're doing that and try to dive into understanding, oh, why am I emotionally eating? Um, remember to just like, you know, enjoy your life too, man, have fun, you know what I mean? Dive into whatever you're doing and just, just go ham, right? That's what, yeah, that's what I would say. Fast five. Favorite Bonnie Pumpy. It's like fast, you gotta do it fast. Sikhne ya, pedo na jaan ho mule sign je ya, jinana visara naamo sikhne ya. So okay, like that. Oh, there's too many men. So there's that. Then there's like, you know, it reminds me of Bahar Nam Singh all the time. And then there's um, Tera Kavano Guru Jiska Tu Chilla. And Maharaja and like some of the Guru Sorte Tune Chela. So my favorite line. Another one like Jaha Chele Mele Karo the Santa Daha Anha the Sabada Vanyanta. Beautiful lines, man. Moon the Lia Darvaje, Vaji Lea and Hadavaje. Stuff like that. I enjoy. Enjoy those types of lines. Next one. Favorite hobby. Can I already mention this? Favorite hobby is controlling my mind. Playing with my mind, seeing how far I can take it, seeing at what depth I can take it focus practicing focus through through the lens of Bani through Bani just playing around having fun internally favorite through concentration sport. soccer <laughs> favorite book or something any it doesn't have to be that's available in English and Punjabi yeah, yeah. So and audio you could actually listen to Mahapur speak whoa yeah man he, he talks about his own jivan and he talks about how he had Prakash and this happened to him and this happened to him. Yeah. It's out there, no? I think it is. Yeah, I think I heard that, man. But I, I don't think it's them saying it. No, it, 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 it. I think it's them, man. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Right? Find those links. Yeah, I he talks about like his own life. Like he talks about how, you know, he was doing like, like Bani, but he never used to do job sahib, and then Guru Sahib Ji gave him darshan, but he never spoke to him. And there's like the one that sings what the Guru Sahib said because Guru Singh said, because you're not doing um, job sahib. Um He talks about how he had Prakash, and you know he talks about she said he talks about a lot of that, like a lot of that stuff himself. I think that's his own voice. Mm. I didn't know it was them. Well, let me look into that again. I think it was. <laughs> okay. You probably heard them. Or maybe I just wanted to hear them. <laughs> but no, I legit think it's them. Okay, last one. Last favorite five. Um, favorite sake. Favorite sake? Oh, man. Once again, I'm like the worst person when it comes to stories. But like, uh, one of my favorite people in Sikhi is Baba Kanegyaji. Like, the, if my idol. I look up to someone like yo, what a beautiful life is Baba Kanegyaji. Next is fill in the blanks. My ultimate goal is uh, to fall in love with the one, wake up the soul, and 
and make that connection. Uh, to end off, what is like just final words, final feedback you want to give to the Sangeet or something you want to just end off? With? <laughs> <laughs> I have no, nothing. What am I going to say? You know, ਕਿਉਂਕਿ <laughs> mara kripa and uh yeah but what i really don't have anything to say to anyone man yeah well and that guy who wants to say thank you so much and we used to have so many other things <laughs> yeah. to talk about so, so it might be a part 2 yeah part 3 part 4 part 5 and yeah, all those stuff that you did take yeah we things. need those Yo know, that's <laughs> like I, I think i think we did <laughs> they were know? we we recorded those on cassettes mm mm-hmm. And I think a couple of year a few years ago I threw some of that stuff out maybe we ripped some of that up we might still have some ab main oh, okay one we ab main apni katha bakhano no. guru gobind singh ji we did we did that katha mm-hmm. goldie singh and i think we did it at that time we need to meet this thing too yeah. goldie singh yeah yo goldie singh man that guy is chill guy man it's like he he's yeah he introduced me to pagaj ji think one of the biggest thing is what everybody's journey is different Just go with the flow yeah 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 do you learn from what you like don't take in what you don't like kind of that mentality too something please forgive us for any mistakes that we made and if anybody is sung with listening to this if you have any further questions please contact us through Instagram Facebook or Twitter at Gustavo Xavier um we'd love to get your feedback I as well the biggest thing about these podcasts also is we're just sharing different people's journey, journey. I mean, the thing showing is everybody's learning different things from their own journey everybody has their own path it's not mm-hmm. one straight strict path yeah so just go on it <laughs> 100% that's about it right <laughs> so so that's the in pulan har nanak rakhan har upar wahiguru ji ka khalsa wahiguru ji ki fateh